hello guys you are welcome back to my channel my name is ruby and this is ruby's tv today i will show you how to make an off shoulder cape dress as you can see this fabric is already folded into two i'm going to work with the hip measurement because it is larger than the waist and the bust the hip measurement is 37 so i'm going to divide 37 by 4. I want to cut off the excess fabric because this material is bulky. The neck point is 5.5, .5, so I'm going to mark 5.5 .5 right here. Now, this is a tricky thing about making an off shoulder dress. It depends on how high or low you want your off shoulder dress to be. For this particular dress, I'm going to take off 5 inches because I want it to be that low, not too low, it's just normal. So whatever horizontal measurement I'm going to be marking, I will start from 5 inches to mark. Armhole measurement is 8, so I'm going to add half an inch to 8. When you're counting, just like the way I placed my tape, you can see that you're actually going to count from 1. But you know, the 5 is off the fabric, so whatever you're counting is still the same. So I'm going to draw a straight line from the shoulder to the armhole. For the neck area, I'm just going to come down by half inch and come down by one inch or one and a half or two. It depends on the person you are making the dress for. Some people love to show their cleavage, but for this particular dress, I am showing nothing. So I'm just going to come down by half inch. The boss point is 10.5. So counting from 5 or counting from 1 with 5 off, you're going to mark your 10.5. So the boss measurement is 8.9. So I'm going to add one inch seam allowance to 8.9 to make it 9.9. .9. The half length is 16. So I'm going to add half inch to 16 to make it 16.5 this measurement is 7 so I'm going to add 2 inches to 7 1 inch seam allowance and 1 inch that allowance from the waist to the hip should be 8.5 The hip measurement is 9.3, but I'm just going to do 10.3. With my hip curve, I'll draw a line connecting the waist and the hip. For the down part, I'm going to add a flay or a funnel here. And just because I want this dress to give her an hour figure shape, I'm going to reduce the down part by one inch. So I'm going to keep my ruler a little lower than where my hip measurement is. So I want to draw a line from that one inch we removed from the down part up to the hip area so it's time to cut the front bodies now for the back bodies the difference between the front bodies and the back bodies is that I'm going to give one inch seam allowance at the center back 
because of the zipper we are going to be adding there later in the tutorial so right down here i'm going to attach a fillet or a funnel whatever you want to call it but i'm going to attach something at the, the full length of this dress is 45 while what you're seeing right now is knee length which is 33 so what i'm going to do is to minus 45 from 33 and whatever i get or whatever you get is what we're going to use to cut the remaining part of this dress for the lining part i folded the lining into two and i placed what we already cut out on the fabric there is no much difference what you're going to use to cut your lining is exactly what you have i might just add a little allowance you know just to make sure it doesn't gum on the body but then there is no new measurement to add to what we have already so we're just going to go ahead and cut your lining with the measurement you have on ground So for the funnel or for the flay part, I am going to measure this down part of this dress and what I have is 9.4. So that is exactly what I'm going to use to cut the flay part of this dress. So from the tip right here, I will start marking. So I'm marking 7. So from this particular line, I'm going to measure it round. And when I'm done, I'll connect the dots. And I'll go ahead and cut. this is actually what we have this is actually no longer than it should be i left it on purpose because i want this dress to you know have some gathers and i want it to drop when you watch the other part of this tutorial you're going to see why i left that so over to the k part of this dress is going to be an oversized because i will be adding an, an elastic to the cape later on so I, i'm going to make it an oversized so, so actually i'm not going to use the shoulder measurement i'm going to make it far wider than the shoulder to cut this sh um this um cape part is exactly what i did for the down part the only difference is that the cape will be larger than the down area so it's just the same thing so i measured 14 and i want the cape to come down by eight inches so i'm going to measure eight inches from the former or from this other line so i'm going to duplicate what i got from this cape into two so it's going to be in two places so this is the end of the part one of this tutorial did you find this video helpful if you did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell button so that you will get notifications from us whenever we upload a new video thank you guys for watching and see you guys in my next video bye